In uh, 1996, I arrived to St. John's Newfoundland all the way from what is now known as former Yugoslavia. It was a very, very long journey. It took us two days. We went from Belgrade, Serbia to Paris, France, from Paris, France to Toronto, Ontario, from Toronto, Ontario to St. John's, Newfoundland. I remember this is just a by the way kind of thing. There was a person waiting for me at the Toronto airport and he said, are you Eldin? I said, yes, I am. I'm your cousin. You don't know me. But you don't have to go to St. John's. Please stay here in Toronto. You'll be much better off. I had no idea who that person was. So I asked our group leader if they knew anything about him. They said no. So I ignored <laughs> his advice. And I didn't stay in Toronto. I came to St. John's, Newfoundland. We will never know whether I made a good or a bad decision. Nevertheless, I arrived in St. John's, Newfoundland in 1996, and it was around this time. It was maybe July, 21st of July, I believe, something like that. I was 21 at the time. I was a young rock star from <laughs> Serbia. I had long hair. I had this white t-shirt that said the New York, but in Russian Cyrillic language. <laughs> I had winter boots without socks. I really was kind of not really taking care of myself in the best possible way. But after all, I was a refugee within my own country. It was normal. We were lucky. And uh, one of the lucky things about, one of the good things about this place is that we have something called Association for New Canadians. So when people arrive to St. John's Newfoundland, the Association for New Canadians sends people to greet them. And in my case, they actually send a person from my hometown who happens to be a person from a different religious background. So really, in our hometown, we were supposed to be fighting each other. But here we are greeting each other and helping each other <laughs> assimilate into this society. It, you know, it's all good because uh, you can hate somebody while you're back home. But once you, you know, leave the country and you go somewhere else, your hate must stop. You're no longer an enemy. You're only an enemy in your own country. Outside, different laws apply. Different things are in order. So this friend of mine was supposed to be my uh, translator. And he was there with a couple of representatives of Association for New Canadians. There you go. I have three minutes into the story. So that's good. Uh... <clears throat> You know, so this is us arriving, you know, to the airport, just getting off the plane, getting our bags. Out of 50 people that left uh, Belgrade, Serbia, only two of us came to St. John's Newfoundland. The rest of the group went to like other cities, uh, bigger cities, obviously. So the two of us were special. Later on, my friend who came with me also left Newfoundland. So I'm the only person who sort of stayed here. So, this is the scene, my, my, my newly met friend from Bosnia and myself are arriving to St. John's Newfoundland and uh, we are leaving the gate with our bags and whatnot, excuse me, and uh, this guy says, hello, you know, welcome to St. John's Newfoundland, what is your name, are you Eldin? Yes, I am Dan, very nice to meet you, uh, we took care of everything, you'll be fine for the first couple of days, we went and got some, you know, food for you we got some milk we didn't know what kind of milk we wanted to get for you you know so we got you blue milk i really like red milk you know gray milk is so so but the green one is absolutely horrible i was listening to this guy and thinking to myself what is blue milk what is red milk what is like gray and green what about white milk is there any white milk here and then he proceeded, you know, to explain that the hot water is where the cold water and that the cold water is where the hot water is. And that many times at first he would like totally like scorch himself with hot water thinking it was hot, it was cold water. So for some reason, the, 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 the position of the hot and the cold water is different in North America and Europe. So that's also <laughs> very valuable information, including the blue milk. Uh, there was one lady uh, who was a representative of 
true in Newfoundland. There's people born here, first, second, third generation, who later became a friend of mine, Lois. And Lois was, you know, also very, very welcoming. So she said, you know, you came at the best possible day. It's so sunny. It's beautiful outside. The temperature is like 19 degrees or something like that. You know, I was looking at them, you know, why is this such a big deal? But no, to them, like, uh, this sunny, warm day was a huge thing. Everybody was really happy about it. <laughs> I should have known, you know. I left the airport, and the moment I stepped out of the building, I froze. It was that cold. There was that bitter wind. It was sunny, but it was freezing. Everybody else was enjoying it by me. At that time, I was wondering to myself, blue milk cold water <laughs> and this horrible wind what else will happen to me there you go a little story about a landing in st john's newfoundland thank you